These have been sitting in a field outside Berlin for the last 30 years. We brought them to the studio and I've got used to them, but yeah, it gives me sort of, um, they're quite oppressive structures. Deep in East London, a street artist called Stick watches as two brand new works are moved from his studio to their new home. The canvas, crude old sections of concrete, remnants of one of the most infamous barriers in human history, the Berlin Wall. Groups of them gather near the borders of the eastern sector and quietly watch the East German soldiers fixing the barbed wire. In August 1961, at the very height of the Cold War, Berlin was suddenly cut in half by East German security forces. The western half of the city remained free, but the communist-controlled eastern sector was fenced off by armed border guards. As the last escape routes were cut one after the other, final scrambles so as not to be left behind in the prison. Neighborhoods were cut in half. Houses that faced West Berlin were ordered to be bricked up. Even among the East German police guarding and maintaining the new barrier, there were some who decided that they too had reached the end of their tether. And there was nothing left for it but to cut and run. The razor wire and fences were soon replaced with something more permanent. Those who tried to escape risked minefields and being shot dead. A hundred thousand people attempted to flee and at least 140 of them paid with their lives. So what is the connection between the graffiti art and the Berlin Wall? Stick is one of UK's best known street artists, famously producing Big Mother, the country's largest ever mural. He uses graffiti as a force for social change. His collaborator in this project is a longtime friend, Berlin-based Thierry Noir. A street art trailblazer, Noir painted kilometers of Berlin Wall back in the 1980s with a distinctive riot of anarchic color. The wall then became a go-to site for a generation of subversive artists. It's impossible to make the wall beautiful because so many people died already because of the wall. So it's just impossible to make something like that beautiful, even if if you paint colors and colors and tons and tons of colors, so the world will, will say like it is a death machine. Three long decades after the Berlin Wall went up, a series of anti-communist revolutions spread across the Eastern Bloc. And on the 9th of November, 1989, the East German authorities announced free passage to both West Germany and West Berlin. Crowds flocked to the wall and began to demolish it. Now a new generation will have the chance to get up close and personal with the wall, or at least bits of it. But as someone who reported from Berlin when it was still standing, my initial reaction was that this is cartoonish sacrilege. I think there's a connection between these two figures across this sort of void here. This is about uniting people. The concept of a wall is to keep people apart and to stop communication. And what we're talking about is the past and the present communicating with each other. Thierry's coming from the past and I'm coming from the present. Shall I tell you what I read into it? Please. Fear in the eyes. There's trepidation, 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 trepidation because they're reaching across a void. The, yeah. the two walls, the wall is, yeah. So you have a sort of shrunken figure who's mm, mm. powered by the wall. Mm. A, a wall is a definite boundary between people communicating. Mm. And th these two figures, they could be on opposite sides of the wall. They could be op on opposite sides of politics. They could be on opposite sides of gender or, or, uh, or, or anything, or ideology, religion. But it's about having uh, the ability to communicate, or at least the willingness to communicate. That's what we're trying to convey here. Now that I've interrogated <laughs> I really like them. Thank you. But I arrived here hating them. <laughs>
Why did I hate them? Why did you hate them? Because I had reported at a wall at which the art had been spontaneous, political, mm. and um, very vivid. Mm. And in a very odd sort of way, you've now led me to a place where the art is very vivid, colourful, and actually still very challenging. Thank you. We try to imbue as much subtlety as we could in the, the way that the eyes connect. Right. The head height is the same, we, we, we work to the same scale, so these two figures exist in the same universe, though, because although the walls are separate, there, there's this division here, that they are, they're very different beings. They look like they could be from different planets, but they exist in the same universe. You know, in that immortal phrase, which rings out from the parliament way over there, mm. the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Ha, ha, ha.